On Friday, March 26th, 2021, I was Twitter's villain of the day. So, for those of you who haven't yet seen my offending tweet, let's have it. My Justine Sacco moment. Are you ready to see why mommies can't? Oh my god, just it's so infuriating. I know. Com comparing herself to Justine Sacco is so infuriating. Yo, they... J Justine Sacco, as you said, she had her life destroyed for mm -hmm. 10 years. Lindsay Ellis canceled her Twitter for a for couple four days. days. Yeah. Yeah. And I probably lost a handful of Patreon subs. Wait, no, uh, Aiden Paladin in the chat was saying that she got a bunch of Patreons. Oh, her <laughs> Patreon completely blew up. Why do you look oh, at this? Look at this giant. Look at this giant smile she has here. Do you know what this giant smile means? Oh my God, my Patreon exploded. I know. Oh yeah. God. Yeah, J oh. Justine Sacco couldn't get a job for, for a fucking decade. She's saying, oh, I'm Justine Sacco. We're all Justine Sacco now. I know. It's so sad. I just got more patrons and I made a, a YouTube video that got 1.8 million views. Oh, I'm such a victim. Yeah, exactly. Oh. She probably made 10 grand off of that video, off this oh, video alone. This is hilarious. I never looked at the, the comments for her. Oh, video. no, no. You know who, you know who the pin tweet is? I, it was like, uh, it's TJ one or something. T1J. Like yeah, motherfucking T1J who I have a, I have like a personal disdain for because I know he always like in his videos, he tries to come off as like, Oh, I'm so nuanced in understanding. I just want to have a complicated, you know, discussion. And when I had a Twitter back and forth with him like years ago, he was the most bad faith, disgusting, like horrible using all the all the debate rhetoric tactics imaginable. I was like, what the fuck? And I came at him with such good faith in our yeah. you know, in our conversation. He was being a total piece of shit. We always do good faith. I mean, what's the point of even talking if you're going to just bad faith? We're not here to destroy the libs, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're here to destroy the socialists. <laughs> Cancel. Also, watched Raya and the Last Dragon, and I think we need to come up with a name for this genre that is basically Avatar the Last Airbender Reduxes. It's like half of all YA fantasy published in the last few years anyway. That's it. That's the tweet. <laughs> So I imagine some of you are very confused. Part two, valid criticism. So from what I can tell, the whole thing originated when some Southeast Asian artists and animators read the tweet as being dismissive and reductive and implying all Asian inspired things are the same genre. And to me, it was made even more frustrating by the fact that several of the people who started this hadn't even seen the movie. In fact, most people who were getting involved with this conversation hadn't even seen the dragon movie. Looks like no one saw the dragon movie. But here's the thing, I kind of had my own has Justine landed yet experience by popping off the tweet, reading a few responses who understood what I was getting at, going to bed, and it blew up while I was asleep. Hashtag has Lindsay woken up yet? Look, it's the same. Look, a woman lost her draw job while she was on an international flight. Mm -hmm. That's the same as Lindsay Ellis drinking a sipping a, a glass of wine mm -hmm. while tweeting and then going to sleep and then waking up in the morning and finding out that she has no financial repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> it's the no. same. It's the same thing. Okay. She's yeah. a martyr, just like poor Justine. She's a martyr. Yeah. Oh, I'm Wait sorry, a second. She, have... she doubled her Patreon. I was going to say, I was going to say, she... I was was like, say, yeah, I apologize. She We're going have... to Hawaii, kids. She did have financial repercussions. They were just beneficial financial repercussions. And because of the time I woke up, I'd already gotten a few, like, oh my God, are you okay? Messages from friends before I even opened Twitter. By the time I looked at my timeline, I saw very little that I would consider valid criticism. So I feel like I need to establish that this whole thing stopped being about valid criticism very, very quickly. And I'll talk about that later in the video. But by the time I woke up, it had already blown way past this is a careless display of white privilege to this sort of thing is a contributing factor to the mass murder of Asian women that just happened. That was oh my the... god, Lindsay, will you have self-awareness where you say, oh, it's almost like there's a large contingent of woke leftists who want to use racism and tragedies in order to bludgeon people for completely dishonest reasons. Yeah. Well, Lindsay, 
wake up and realize what's happening? Bad faith left us. I doubt it, will. though. Yeah. So this is what we call an overstatement of harm. It had gone from possible insensitive microaggression from a C-list YouTuber to contributing to hate crimes. And that didn't feel like anything I would consider valid. So it's- I mean, it's not valid when it happens to her. When it happens to other people that she doesn't like, yeah. it's always valid, you know? Yeah. I can call them diet Nazis, literally associating them with some of the worst tragedies in human history. Yeah. They deserve it. It's totally fine when it happens to them. Yeah, it's completely different. Who cares if you lose your Star Wars job? No. Yeah, exactly. Who cares if you lose your Star Wars job? Do you see what her necklace says? No. It says influencer. <laughs> Does it really? Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> That's so. I assume it's supposed to be somewhat ironic, but it's actually sort of not ironic. It's not so, ironic. Take a shot. Humble brag. <laughs> You know, Earl just woke up and I responded. I, I've, I've determined one thing from this video too. Uh, Lindsay Ellis has terrible taste in music. I don't know what all this background music is that she's well, got in there. It's, supposed it's, to... it's too loud and it's, I don't know why. She, does she usually have music? I don't I feel like remember. I'm at a circus. I got to tell you, it's it's bizarre. I feel, like, I feel like with this music right now, I'm at like a, sanding, uh, like a tanning salon. Oh, okay. Or like a extra, like a gym or something. They always have like this sort of upbeat electric techno music. Mm -hmm. Oh, crazy! Ended with frustration because I was being ascribed an intentionality which was not there. Which, well, if anyone who spent any time on Twitter can tell you, getting defensive and doubling down is about the last thing anyone should do. So, that was an oopsie. And ascribed an intentionality that wasn't there. <gasps> Does that sound familiar? Let me think. Um, Dead racism? cool shocked gif. <gasps> uh, yeah. Uh, transphobia? Let me think. Um, hmm, interesting. I wonder if anyone else like has had this uh, has had this happen to them. Jordan Peterson. Uh, well, it's funny, too, because so much of her feminist criticism of media uh -huh. is her ascribing values oh, to exactly. things that were not intended to, to exactly. be Exactly. Yeah. Yes. That's like the core <laughs> of her message. Right God. there. Still no self-awareness, guys. It's literally her job. Yeah, that's what's so weird about it. I tried to give, you know, some credence to the valid criticism by saying, like, you know, if you squint, I can kind of see what you're saying. And uh oh. I tried to give, you know, oh wait, no, wait. some wait, credence to, to the valid criticism. She says, so people are criticizing her uh -huh. <laughs> for being uh anti-asian and she says i can see where if you squint <laughs> how did well, how do you do that i mean how oh do you my miss God. that oh Lindsay. was that was that because if that was an intentional joke that's pretty good that's pretty funny <laughs> but if it was unintentional she's just a moron uh i you you would think of, i don't know if you'd make that joke not in that situation <laughs> well we couldn't because we're labeled bad guys yeah but, uh, yeah yeah, so, yeah you, you think you think that you think it was unintentional she's just stupid does she say i mean i'm curious i don't remember but, is uh, she saying she mistakenly say it, i'm assuming that? she's gonna say it was unintentional but that's pretty baffling you that's dumb that's I, so how dumb. can you call yourself a smart person and not <laughs> like type the word squint and think Squid, it's it's in relation to anti-Asian. Asian, uh, I, yeah, it says it yeah, in the tweet. Read uh, the tweet. I can see I, where if you squint, <laughs> I was implying all Asian-inspired properties. Just that first sentence. I know. I, I would I would type this tweet out and I'd read it back and go, oh, can't use that. <laughs> can't use squint. Especially <laughs> if you were already privy to those conversations where I had not seen them. So yeah, this is like a serious tweet. Yeah. Right. It's, I mean, no, I haven't you need seen... more jokes in there if you're going to pull that joke off. I don't know. I I don't I haven't been following young adult media, so I'm not yeah. familiar. I mean, to me, I don't even know what she's talking about. I didn't even know that there has been a explosion of of uh, you know, the last airbender inspired, you know, young adult media. I just assume that people are trying to copy anime because anime has become is eclipsing Popular, basically. Yeah. yeah, it's basically eclipsing American uh, cartoons and comics. Yep. Which Avatar was copying anime. So yeah, I don't know. It seems it's, it's, first it just seems like a like it's a stupid comment on top of it. it doesn't even make sense. But yeah.
I don't think it's racist or she can't. So it's just dumb. 